In this exercise, we're going to explore creating a loft, or a swept blend as it's called in Pro-E. As you can see in the manual in exercise 8, we're going to construct this boat. And actually, the exercise only takes you as far as to actually construct the hull of the boat. And to do this, um, lofting basically is taking several planes and drawing profiles on them, and then having them uh, combined together to create a solid. So we're going to start off with several datum planes off, based off of the, the front plane. So let's go ahead and begin. As you can see here in the book, we, we see the, the front datum plane, and then there's an offset plane, 6 inches, and then a plane offset from that is 8 inches, and then the last one kind of wraps around here and it's 1 inch. So let's begin. We can start with a new part file. and we'll select the front plane and then over to the right here we see we have the plane datum plane tool so let's go ahead and select that and the little dialog box that appears allows us to translate or offset so the first offset will be uh, six inches let me just yeah six inches Okay, and apparently I'm just zoomed out very far, so that's okay. Well, once we start drawing, we'll see it will zoom in, and uh, this won't, they'll look actually a further distance apart. But now, once uh, we have that done, we can select the datum one and offset that by going to plane and setting uh, a new one for eight inches. and we should have datum 2 then. We could click one more time and set it to 1 inch and we'll have datum 3 and you could see them in the feature tree over on the left or you could actually see them on the screen. And we'll begin by selecting our front plane and starting our sketch on it and we'll draw the back side of the boat hull. Hit sketch and zoom up until you don't see the dashed lines and we begin by drawing a line, a vertical line down. Let's do that one more time. Middle click to stop it. And then go back to the center, click out a horizontal line. Make sure you don't get the L1. The L1 would indicate that you have a relationship there of equal. We're now going to use the spline tool, and the spline basically allows you to generate um, using a Bezier spline. In this case, um, I believe Pro-E uses NURBS, Non-Uniform Rational B Splines, which are probably the best for designing most things. They have some advantages for a contour. But we'll go ahead and we'll just click here, we'll click there, click a uh, third time, and then connect it to the vertical line, and then middle click. All right, we'll go ahead and add some dimensions here. First, we'll go to the uh, Select tool and just make sure that these dimensions match ours in the book, which are 2 inches high by 2.5 wide. So we'll type in 2.5 and 2 inches. Now. In the book, I have you adding dimensions to these contours. Um, I'm going to actually let you kind of leave them f free and design however you want the bolt hole to be. Otherwise, you could go to the dimension tool and add dimensions to the point, to the uh, other edges. But this is okay. All right, and we're done with that. So we hit the, the check mark on the lower right, select done. Let's go to the zoom to fit. And now we'll select our datum one and start our next sketch. And for this, this is, we're actually further into the boat, so it's going to be a bit larger. If you look at the actual book, you can see here that gray line is the old sketch. The black line here is the new sketch. So let's go ahead and do that. 
and this one is 3 by 2.375 high. So we'll take the line at the corner, click, middle click, click a line, draw the vertical line, click, and then middle click. We'll take the spline tool again and try and follow our contour to some extent that we had earlier. I actually use three points in this case, which is fine. Okay, and from here, this is going to be three inches wide by 2.375 if I'm correct. Yep, for the height. And hit the done tool. We'll go back to this area so you can see what we're creating here. We have profiles. The next one will be datum 2. Now here it starts getting smaller again because we're getting closer to the front of the boat. So in this case datum 2 will look like this. It's only 0.6 by 0.675. So it's going to be considerably smaller. Oh, and unfortunately there I made that equal by accident. Let's draw one more line there. I hit undo. Remember, you don't want to get the L1s. And then we'll add our spline. It'll click to end it. So 0.675 by 0.6. All right, and then we'll hit the done. And finally, datum three, start a sketch. And here, we're gonna draw a very small profile. So we'll zoom up very close. and do the same thing. And if you're looking in your book, it's 0.1 or 0 .0, uh, 0 0.01, so 10 thousandths of an inch. And hit the done tool. And now you can see all of your planes on top of each other with the profiles. Alright, now it says select the right datum plane and, uh, and draw a horizontal line at the origin and dimension it at 15 inches long. So along the top plane here we're going to draw a line connecting all these. So you probably want to go into an isometric view here. Select this right plane, start a sketch, and take the line tool and just draw it straight across here. And I don't think you have to attach it if I'm right. I just make it, um, you don't need a relationship for it. Just make it 15 inches. And hit the done tool. Okay, now we go to insert sweat blend sweat sweat blend tool there. And then we'll select the trajectories. Okay, so insert sweat blend. Let's go to references. And you can see here if we zoom up. I'll go to two hundred percent here. We select references, the origin, name of trajectory, and our sections. Just make sure.
sure we have everything set. Automatic. Looks good. And then sections. And we'll go to selected sections and click on these. We might actually have to hold the control key. Let's make sure. Select the insert button for every sketch. So let's go back here, go to insert, select this one, go to insert, select this, and we can start seeing our profile generated. Insert, and then the last one. If you hit apply, you should have a boat hull, a half of a boat hull that looks like this. We can actually hide our planes if we like. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and mirror this across. So select the body and find the mirror tool. And we'll just select the side face to mirror about, hit the apply, and we have our boat hull. Now for the exercise of uh, for the boat contest, if we have the boat contest, basically you could take this and do whatever you like with it to construct a boat. And as you can see here, I have one with a, fo a photorealistic rendering attached to it or uh, applied to it. And the way you could do that is um, you could select this top base and start sketching on it. And if you want some in some way, you could. Um, construct your geometry on there to make a boat. Uh, for example, if you wanted to build the uh, cabin in there, you could take and sketch out geometry. Uh, you could sketch out a mass, extrude that up, maybe add some draft, things like that. Okay, But that basically finishes this exercise.